Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be looking at this white MacBook from 2010 and we're going to be doing a solid state drive upgrade and we're going to be upgrading the RAM to the maximum capacity of 16 gigabytes. So, to get started all we need to do is flip over the MacBook and then take out the eight screws using a small Phillips head screwdriver. So I'm just going to do this like so. So at time of recording it's 2020 and I'm not totally sure it's wise to upgrade a laptop like this because it is quite old and um, I'm not sure how long it'll last after this upgrade. So it could be a good investment for you, it depends. These Core 2 Duo machines are relatively slow but they still function and this one's High Sierra which kind of works okay but um, you know there are better things to spend your money on in my opinion. So the hard drive is located in this corner here and all we need to do is swap these out. So we use our Phillips head screwdriver to pull out this bracket And then we should be able to pull this hard drive out using the tab. And you can kind of see this uh, cable here, the standard SATA interface. And we can pull out the, the hard drive here. What you want to do now is use a T6 screw driver to pull out the little side tabs, as this will hold the solid state drive in place. And what we're going to do is transfer these to the new solid state drive. It just helps to keep it in place. These mechanical drives need kind of shock absorption, which comes from these little pads here, which these uh, clips go into and absorb shock. But obviously this solid state drive doesn't have any moving parts, and runs much, much faster and doesn't require this kind of absorption, but uh, we're still going to transfer this anyway. So we've got that one. Okay, so once those four are screwed inside, I'm just going to clip this back in to the SATA connector and we can insert this back in. I'm going to put our Phillips head screwdriver back on and we're going to put the bracket back in. So next stage is the RAM. So to take off the RAM, we just pull these two clips on the side. Like so. So this is a two gigabyte crucial stick. I'm gonna pull the last one out too, so like so. And then I'm going to install this um, 8 gigabyte stick. So there's not many um, places selling the necessary speed of RAM, which is um, 1066 megahertz at 8 gigabytes per sodium. But um, these brands uh, like Tecmio have stepped in to create these sodiums where other companies have just stopped making them. So all you need to do is <clears throat> line up the dim slot there and then insert the, uh, the bottom slot. I'm going to open up the last box. 
and then we're going to line up that dim slot there and then plug it in there like that. And then we're done. Bottom case back on like so and all we need to do now is screw everything back in the way it was and um, what I like to do is just make sure that everything's nice and flush because um, there's this kind of rubberized footing on this which is very nice but if you don't screw in this um, these screws far enough then whatever you drag this across is going to scratch from that uh, screw that's too tall So there we have it. That is how you upgrade these white MacBook 2010s. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe and check out my next tech video.